Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to discuss my top five Google tricks which help me search better as a developer. Even if you're not a developer, these five tips are really helpful. So let's just go ahead and get started with them. This video is a part of Codedam's t-shirt giveaway program for the month. If you want to take part and win an amazing Codedam t-shirt, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it, you are eligible. If you're comment gets a heart from Codedam, you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free. So the first thing which I want to discuss is how you can search for specific file extensions on Google. What do I mean by that? Let's say you want to get a cheat sheet for Git. So what you can do is say learn Git and then specify a file type of PDF. Now what this will do is it will only give you results which are actually PDF files indexed by Google, right? And you can just see, click any one of the link and you'll see that in fact, those are PDF files. And this could be useful if you're just searching for something like cheat sheets or, you know, some specific file format, which you're already aware about. And one of the most important things as a developer, which you should know is how to even Google, which is the most important tip here as well. And the way you Google is until and unless you have, let's say a specific error message, which you just copy and paste and get the results. In most of the other cases, you search by keywords. You don't write, you usually don't write a full sentence. So if you, let's say if you're looking for, I don't know, a library to perform network request for React. So you would not write, how do I perform network requests in React? I mean, this is a valid question and Google will give you some decent answers for this as well. But for the most part, you have to understand how to break your request into valid keywords, which Google can understand. So what in this case, you can compress the sentence into React network request write something like this or for example if you have already have some idea of some library like fetch or axios or something like this so you can say fetch react alternative or you know axios react alternative or whatever you know react http libraries something like this so you have to search in terms of keywords usually and not long sentences because the smaller your keywords are, the more chances there are that a lot of other people are also writing the same stuff. And the more chances there are that Google is able to map their clicking behavior and back and forward behavior and all those other factors and is able to rank proper documents at the top right that is the crux here it's not about you being asking the wrong question or google not being knowing the answer you want to ask questions which a lot of people are asking that should be your motive because those search results are most optimized although google can answer other questions as well but it's better that you try to search in terms of keyword not in terms of sentences but of course if you have an error like uncaught error something went this or that then you should obviously copy and paste that because google Google can pretty much, you know, index those full sentences as well. My next suggestion is how you can perform an exact text math search on Google, which means sometimes Google will try to show you basically all sorts of results. For example, if you're writing CSS or, you know, CSS grids, for example, then you will see you get all sorts of results. But let's say you have a specific topic in mind or specific keyword, which you need to have present on the web page. So what you can do is you can enclose this in quotes or you know just like it gives you suggestion in, in double quotes and what you will see now is all of the keywords which you enclosed in double quotes which can be separated by a space as well would be included in your search results so you can see css grid is here then javascript is here css grid and so on so you can have css grid css flexbox for example and you'll see all these search results which have both of these things right css in js you can pretty much play along with this it is not recommended though that you use it in all the search queries because then you opt out of the google's ranking system and you are just forcing google to just show you only the results which have those specific keywords but sometimes it is useful if you are googling an error message and it's not a well-known error message so this just helps put the results which matter in front of you 
The next step which I have in mind is how you can perform a site specific search. For example, let's say you're looking for JavaScript versus PHP and you want to look at Reddit answers. So you can actually narrow it down by saying site colon and reddit.com, right? Whatever site you want to write. And you're going to see that all of the results now are only from Reddit. Or you can say site stack overflow.com. That will also work. In most of the cases, just specifying the main keyword of the site will also work, especially for popular websites like Stack Overflow or Reddit. But you can see it gets messed up really soon. You only have the first result as Stack Overflow and the rest of the websites are different. But if you do specify site as Stack Overflow, then you're going to see all of the results are from Stack Overflow. So it might be good for something weird which you're debugging and you need to have multiple suggestions. Plus, it is also good if you are running your own website or some other website website and you just want to see what pages are indexed or whether the query your website is aiming to rank for even has been indexed by Google or not right here. You can just see it right here. Finally, what you can do with Google is also filter the results by the time, right? So let's say you're looking for Next.js 11 tutorial for example, and you just want to look for the recent ones because Next.js changes a lot. So you can go to this tool section anytime and change it to past hour or, you know, this is like way too aggressive. Something like past week or past month could be something which could work for you. And this could give you all sorts of results from blog posts and everything. Plus you can narrow it down to specific sites as well, reddit.com. So anything which has happened in past one week on Reddit regarding Next.js 11, right? So instead of using Reddit, search system you can pretty much search the whole reddit just from google based on the index google has maintained so combining these features could really result in pretty powerful stuff so yeah these were my five tips for becoming a better developer at googling and better person actually what do you think about that let me know in the comments below that is all for this video if you liked it make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon